Retro Ghetto. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Retro Ghetto. So we've just seen out the year 2023, and in the past 12 months I've managed to complete 21 video games. I was a little bit disappointed in that total, and I'm determined to beat more video games this year. And I'm going to do that by starting the year with a game completion bang. I'm going to try and complete as many video games as I can over 24 hours. I'm filming this the night before so we don't waste any time tomorrow morning. When I say complete, just to clarify, I mean playing through the story. I'm not going to be getting platinum trophies or every single unlockable. That's just not the way that I play video games. We're going to try and play through the story of the game. And I'm going to try and do it, unless stated otherwise, on the sort of standard medium difficulty. I've spent the last few days researching good short video games and I'm going to spend the rest of the evening downloading the games, installing them, making sure the batteries are all in the correct places, the controllers are fully charged so that when my alarm goes off bright and early tomorrow morning we can get in here and get straight to the gaming because I've got to try and beat 8 because that was the figure that I managed to do last time we did this challenge. Back in 2022 I tried this, we beat 8 video games and yeah, that's the natural target that I want to try and beat tomorrow, right? So I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get myself as prepped as possible for what is a big day tomorrow. I'll see you all bright and early. Let's go. Retro Ghetto. Good morning, all. As you can see, the time is just before half past 6 a.m. And I'm back ready to do this. The room's set up. It's all warm in here. Everything's good to go. I've got the essentials. I've got a flask of tea to get me going. And I've got a packet of paracetamol because last time I tried this challenge, I had a banging headache by the end of the day after gaming all day. But I think that was in part last time because I played some virtual reality, which I won't be doing this time. Um, last time I set myself an additional challenge that every game I completed was to be on a different console or a different format of console. I'm not doing that this time. The only sort of thing I've put into place this time is that every single game that I complete I want it to be the first time I've ever completed that game. So, which in itself is somewhat fraught with danger because a lot of these games I've never played before. I've done a little bit of research into how long they take to beat, but I've never professed to be the best gamer and having never played them before, I've got to get acquainted with the game mechanics, the controls, etc. I might really struggle at the game. So, yeah, there's a lot of challenges along the way today which could potentially be banana skins. Um, we are going to start the challenge with a game that I have actually played before, but not for many, many years, and I've never finished it. It's one I had as a child, and I've been hoping to complete not only this, but the whole trilogy of these games this year, and that is Game Boy's Super Mario Land. This should only take an hour, theoretically. I mean, Google, Google the time it tells you, right, into the average length of the game completion is usually far less than it actually takes me. Um, so we shall see with that one. But this is one of the games where I think if I take it too lightly and I try and just run through it, I could easily end up losing my continues and die. And then it's going to cost me a lot of time if I have to go back to the start and play the game again. So the plan with the first game of the day is to try and take my time, conserve those lives right in the early levels. And yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, this one won't give us too much of a problem to get the first game completion of the day done. As I say, we're just about to tick to 6.30. Let's go. Okay, let the challenge commence. Right, that's the first level done, and the problem is, it's trying to get out of the habit of speed running, right? It's trying not to look at that clock and trying to get all the coins to build those lives up, because like I said, it's going to cost me a lot more time if I end up having to replay the game. Uh, also, the way that the buttons are mapped out on the uh, Super Game Boy is that what is B should be jump, so I've already died once, so that doesn't bode well, so yeah, I've got to retain these lives, right? Because dying on the first level of Mario... That ain't gonna get us very far. Mm. 
That is a big help. Take those three bonus lives. Right, we're on seven lives into the third level. That gives me a bit more confidence. Well, that was a nice little surprise there. Nice little schmuck level. Uh, I'm getting to that point now where I'm getting as far as I got as a kid, right? So I'm starting to... I can vaguely remember that level, but I think... Oh, another three lives. That's going to be a big help to us. Um, yeah, so we're now heading into World 3. There's only four worlds. I have played this as a kid, actually. I uh, remember these um, statues in the background. Um, so, yeah, there's four worlds consistent of sort of three mini levels each. So there's 12 in total. Um, so we are now exactly halfway in. Uh, I've got 14 lives. Like I say, the only challenge is not playing Mario games like I normally play them. Sort of speed running, holding down the run fast button and just getting through the levels. Trying to do it almost like a completionist. Getting all the coins to build those lives up so that we can get it done in one continue. So yeah, keep this mentality up. Keep this gameplay up and uh, we'll get this done. And again! Oh, that spider... Oh dear. That's cheap. That's cheap. World 3 level 2 hurt me, man. We've lost, we've lost a lot of lives. That's the thing about this game. You've got to farm them lives because it gets cheap. We're down to 5 lives. Let's touch and go now. Okay, we are on to the fourth and final world. Um, I really need a bonus here because <laughs> I'm on four lives and I'm guessing things are going to step up in difficulty. This is not a difficult game, guys. Don't get me wrong, but... Is the pressure, right? I've been playing this for 40 minutes. So it's going to be the best part of an hour, right? And I really do not want to have to do this again. It's going to eat into my time. So please get a decent bonus. <sighs> One life. I needed more than that. Oh, I need this bonus, man. Okay, so I've made it to what should be the final stage. Uh, World 4, level 3. It's a schmop level, so that's a bonus for me. And I've just had a few bonus lives. So I've got five lives, final level. Whew, let's go. Right, I'm big. Yes! I think it's done. I had two lives left. Man, that boss was touch and go, right? Woo! I started to get a bit worried, man. I love how it finished on a shmup level. I wasn't expecting that. Never finished it as a kid. I think I got like to the end of level 3 looking at it because I didn't remember level 4. Man, I'm so happy with that, right? Any retro game is a potential banana skin. I mean, you wouldn't expect a Mario game to be difficult by any means, but like I said, with retro, you never quite know. I don't know if there's any continues either. I didn't want to chance it. So final two lives, got it done. Really happy with that. It took me 
55 minutes. So yeah, man, uh, great start to the day. That sort of gave me the enthusiasm that I needed. On to the next one. But what I'm going to do before that is I'm going to allow myself a treat. So each time I finish a game, I'm going to allow myself a little bit of something. So after finishing that, I'm going to allow myself some breakfast. After the next one, I might allow myself a shower. <laughs> so best hope I'll finish a couple of games today or I'm going to stink after a few hours in here. Um, but yeah, next game is Sayonara Wild Heart. So this is the first game that I purchased and downloaded specifically for today. I've heard it's a good game. I've heard it's a quick game and that's exactly what we need. So yeah, we're going to be switching things up now. We're going to go to PlayStation 5 after some breakfast and Sayonara Wild Hearts. Let's go. Okay, let's go. What I'm hoping with this one as well is that I can relax a little bit now. You know, Mario was very much like every jump counted, right? So I'm hoping now I can pour my second tea of the day and relax for this game. Okay, so I'm sort of like three stages into Sayonara Wild Hearts, and as of yet, I'm not sure I'm convinced. I won't go as far as to say it's like a rhythm game, there's a lot of music elements to it, but you don't really influence that, I don't think. It's very much like an art style game, um, but at the moment I'm just simply pressing left and right, and that's pretty much it, to try and collect things as the game kind of like, momentum takes you forward through this almost like a music video uh, it's only early days I'm yet to be convinced as to whether I'm enjoying it or not but it's definitely a different pace um, and it certainly doesn't seem difficult not thus far anyway maybe the challenge and the enjoyment is from trying to get different ranks because there's gold, silver and bronze you can hit on each level and with me obviously just trying to get through the game I don't care if I hit bronze so I'm just trying to get through but yeah, um, I'll give you a more honest assessment when I finish the game Okay, final stage. Let's get it done. I'm really hoping that's it. Right, it's too early in the day to get negative, so I'm not going to say much about that again, right? I'm uh, <laughs> I'm just glad it's done. It took me just over an hour and a half. It's 9.26, and um, yeah, I think it's time for my third cup of tea of the day as we enter the third game of the day. But I've got, I've got a little plan. So I have started playing a few weeks ago a game called Hot shot racing on the switch i've not got too far into it i've only done a few races and i'm going to use this as like my palette cleanser so i'm going to play hot shot racing get a few games a few races done in between each game that i complete so hopefully by the time we get towards the end of the day this will be another game that we can add to the list so i'm going to do a few races on hot shot racing while i decide what mainline game is next yeah man I i'm going to turn this off because i'm tired of hearing this music <laughs>
Okay, so I've completed Grand Prix mode on four of the five difficulty settings. We'll jump into boss level later on. Uh, for now, though, we're going to stick with Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to be playing the second of the games which I purchased and downloaded specifically for today. And that is Abzu. Uh, heard good things about this one. Again, don't know too much about it. Going into it relatively blind. Just heard it's decent and it's short. So let's hope it's more enjoyable than Sayonara Wild Hearts, right? So we are currently... Where are we? Just gone 10 o'clock. This game's scheduled to take a couple of hours, so it should take us through to lunch. Uh, I am about to tuck into my second breakfast. Good old beans on toast. I've been and refilled the flask, so it's time to get comfy and let's see what Abzu is all about. Hold on a minute. I think we've got to set the mood right. Yeah. Back to it. Okay, game number three of the day done, and if I look a little bleary-eyed, it's because, yeah, it's quite a relaxing game, and um, it's a good job I didn't play this game later on in the day, when my uh, energy levels are running lower, because I probably would have fell asleep. It took uh, roughly two hours, as predicted. A decent game. Um, it's a little bit like, okay, you're in this area, and there's an elaborate door to get through. I've got through the door, and then you're in another area that's got an elaborate door to get through. That kind of just goes on for two hours. I think there's like an underlying message here about looking after the oceans. These kind of games, I have enjoyed them in the past. I really enjoyed Journey. I don't think this one hit quite as well as Journey. Journey was much more of an emotive experience, and I think visually more beautiful. Maybe this was hampered by the fact I did it on the Switch. Um... But I did so because it was like £3 to download on the Switch. And it was like twice the price on PS5. But yeah, decent game all in all. Um, but it didn't quite hit as much as other games in the sort of genre have before. And I think what partially sort of hampered my experience was the mechanics of the swimming. Because you're underwater, it's so slow. It's I was just constantly tapping the button to try and get faster, faster, faster. And just... Yeah, it just takes ages to get anywhere. I think it's one of the games where you're supposed to enjoy your surroundings, which probably doesn't lend itself well to what I'm trying to do here today, right? Which is just try and get through the game as fast as possible. But yeah, I wouldn't say I didn't enjoy it. Uh, it was decent for what it was. And now we move on. And I think I'm going to go off piste. Um, I've got a list of games, but I think I'm coming off that list. Whilst I was playing that, I was thinking about games I want to play. And the game I've enjoyed the most so far today was the retro game where we started, right? The Mario on the Game Boy. So. I think I'm going to go back to retro, really get that experience, that enjoyment of completing the game, that fulfilment of, yeah, having to put some effort in to finish the game, right? And I think this could be risky. I'm going to go with Pop and Twin B. The reason I'm going to go with this is I've never really put any time into it. Uh, I love <laughs> Super Nintendo, I love Schmops, and... I know that there's like a difficulty select here. So I did stay at the start of the day. I'm not going to complete all the games on standard difficulty unless otherwise stated. Well, I'm otherwise stating because, yeah, at an old school shmup, I will be playing this on probably the easiest setting possible. Excuse me. Uh, that's my second breakfast. <laughs> I'll be playing this on the easiest uh, difficulty possible, I think. Um, 
Because, yeah, I've been stung in the past by retro shmups thinking that I could play through them on a medium difficulty setting, and, yeah, my limited skill set would not allow me to finish them. So that's where we're heading next for, yeah, game number four of the day. Let's go for Pop and Twin B. Okay, so I've just finished, um, I think level four, I think the seven levels. Oh man, I'm absolutely in love with this game. Um, I'm going to talk more about it because I've got to get back into it. But yeah, now I understand it. Now I get it. What a game this is. Um, I'm glad I put it on an easy difficulty setting. I don't know if it makes it any easier. It probably just gives you more continues, to be honest. But yeah, I've got a lot to say about this game. It's all positive. Let's hope I can finish it on this effort. Okay, just consulting the manual. Beautiful manual here. Um, don't ever let non-collectors tell you you don't need manuals. <laughs> this is definitely not on Google. Um, right, so that was Lake Dompora. We're on Magma Base, the penultimate level. I think I've got about four or five continues left. So hopefully, if I get my mind right, we can get through this. <laughs> Okay, we've made it to the final level. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Is that it? Yes. Come on. <laughs> what a game. Game number four. What a game it was. I absolutely enjoyed every second of that. I sat there with my smile beaming throughout. Um, so much to that game. So much more than I gave it credit for. Um, I just thought it was a bit of a cute em up. There's so much to it. Like Initially, when I thought those enemies that looked like they could be killed but couldn't, I just didn't know what I was doing. Uh, they're sort of like ground enemies. Use a separate button to kill them. You have to shoot the clouds to generate the bells. You shoot the bells X amount of time so you can juggle those. They then change colour to give you different power-ups. Uh, there's so much that you're juggling at once. Um, I played on the easiest difficulty setting and it was a nice challenge towards the end. I died with quite a few continues to spare. But it's definitely a game I'll be revisiting on like a harder difficulty setting. I just, yeah, I feel bad that I've left it on the shelf so long. I think I even forgot to mention it when I spoke about my shop collection in a recent collection video that I did. So, yeah, I, I mean, I've definitely been sleeping on that game. Really enjoyed it. That's game number four of the day. Perfect time for me to go and have some lunch, right? Yeah, buzzing with that. Okay, so after Pop and Twin B and a bit of lunch... It is almost 10 past two. So the day is ticking on. It's going at a rapid pace. Uh, next stop, we're going to Nintendo Wii. We're going to play it via the uh, Wii U. And that is the Metal Slug Anthology. I think I'm going to play through Metal Slug X. That's one I've never played through before. I think Metal Slug X is... Is it Metal Slug 2? But like sort of remastered? 
I don't really know. I've not got time to look into it. All I know is I've never played it. I've not finished it. So hopefully it shouldn't take much longer than an hour or so. Yeah, let's get into Metal Slug X. Great little collection, but yep, Metal Slug X. Let's go. <laughs> Mission complete. Mission all over. Okay, that is game number five done. Metal Slug X. Um, perfect for that after lunch full of pizza lull, right? You just shoot everything in sight, don't have to do too much thinking. Um, does anybody play those games without dying? I think I did like 40 something continues. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job you get infinite continues on that game. But it's still fun nonetheless, right? But I just wish it was a little bit easier and less forgiving with the continues, just so it was like there was an element of risk to reward to it, because you just kind of just find yourself just running forwards, blasting everything, right? But yeah, like I say, exactly what I needed after lunch, and that's put me above halfway now. Um, it took longer than I thought for a couple of different reasons. Uh, firstly, because of all the. Uh, game overs that we had so you had to keep loading and continue selecting a new character and when you do it as many times as i did that, that adds to it right also i couldn't work out how to use the bombs the first couple of missions it was taking me ages basically because i was playing with the wii remote because it won't let you use the wii pro controller for some reason um on metal slug you have to flick it but i didn't realize there was motion attached to it so i'm sitting there <laughs> rapid trigger on the gun flicking with the stick yeah i feel like <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end up with Carpool Tunnel. Um, but yeah, that is Metal Slug X, game number five. There is a game that I really want to play today. Um, it's a risk. It's fraught with risk because it's not an easy game. It's one I've tried a few times before and failed to complete. So I'm not going to jump into it yet. I've got a plan now to get through a couple of games quite quickly that will get me back on track and hopefully um, in a position where we should be able to complete at least nine games today. Fingers crossed. So... First things first, I'm going to jump back into Hot Shot Racing, get that finished, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so back to Hot Shots Racing. My plan is to beat this now on the most difficult set of races on normal difficulty mode. This will be game number five. Um, it's just about to hit four o'clock, so we're not doing too bad. I might be able to get to bed at half decent time just yet. I'm not quite uh, at the coffee stage, but I am at the sugar stage, so I think... It's time for Lucas Aid. Let's do it. Okay, so this is not looking as straightforward as I first thought it would be. The sugar's not helped. Um, yeah, this boss level has stepped it up. Like, I never even thought about, um, like, the clock. There's, like, checkpoints you have to reach. All the other difficulty settings I've not even acknowledged yet. I've just won the races, right? But now, I'm struggling to finish the race. You have to get to the checkpoint within a certain time. 
excuse me. <laughs> I'm driving. Should be on the phone while driving, right? But, um, yeah, unlike some games, when you're middle of, like, a tournament, you can't just restart the race. If you DNF or you have to restart, restarts the whole tournament so like I've got to, to the third race a couple of times and then like not finished or done terribly and yeah you have to go back to the start the whole tournament again so this is definitely eating into my time man I did not anticipate this I thought this was gonna be an easy one for the list how wrong I was Right, okay, the day was going very smoothly, but this is the first real bump in the road. I think we're going to have to forget about completing hot shot racing. Um, really good game, really fun, but the difficulty curve from like what I think it was like difficulty Grand Prix to boss mode. As you can see, I managed to finish all four races eventually, but I mean, I finished bottom, so it's a fun game. I will get good at some point and finish it, but... Today's not the day, we just ain't got the time. There's no guarantee I will get good enough because those last few races are very difficult. You're racing on ice and all kinds of different terrain. and Yeah, um, the time is ticking away. I've gone from being comfortable with this challenge to i got to pull something out of the bag. Luckily, I've got a little ace up my sleeve and I need to play that ace now. Okay, so the ace up my sleeve is Astro's Playroom. In itself, a short game, but I actually played a little bit of it when i first got the ps5 just to sort of test out the controller and stuff so it's probably about two thirds of what is already a short game left for me to play to finish so this is probably what i need to get me back on track right i, I had this game in my back pocket should i need it and at this point we need it so let's play through this <clears throat> No way, is this going to be the T-Rex? Well, I had this demo as a kid. If this is the T-Rex, this is nostalgia overload. Yes, knew it. I love the fan service in this game. And I remember seeing that T-Rex for the first time. I can't believe what I was seeing. Tech demos of old.
Okay, that is game six. Really enjoyed it. Um, I've often advocated how much I loved the original Astro Bot on the PlayStation VR. If all VR games were as good as that, I'd be a huge VR fan. But I don't think there's ever been a better VR game released than that, in my opinion. Hopefully they'll bring out a new um, Astro Bot game now the PSVR 2 is out. But yeah, really enjoyed it. Great fan service. As soon as I saw that PS1 demo, I knew it was going to be that T-Rex and... Uh, yeah, for old heads like me that have been there throughout the whole PlayStation journey, it's yeah, just great to see that kind of fan service being paid. Really enjoyed it. Uh, where are we now? We are at almost half past five. We've got six games in the bag. So ideally we need three more. I'm not at the point where I want to take a risk just yet. Uh, there is another game that we're going to jump into next, which hopefully should have posed too much of a problem. I mean, I'm supposed to be eating dinner, but... I ain't got time to eat. Okay, so next up I find myself with the glowing red spines of the Switch section. And I think we're going to go with... Death Smiles 2. I've played through one on the Xbox 360. But I've never played the second game. So, that is the plan now. I'm probably going to play it in handheld mode so I can just chill out for a bit, right? I've been staring at this TV screen most of the day, so... Yeah, I'm gonna kick back, get comfortable, and play Death Smiles 2. Yep. That's Santa Claus. <laughs> and I'm about to beat him. I think we played this a week ago. What other game is Santa Claus the end boss, right? This game is absolute craziness. What a weird game. <laughs> if you thought fighting Santa Claus was bizarre, I mean, that's just the start of it. Um, what a strange game. I mean, I fought Rudolph, Baby Cupids. I had the screen filled with what I can only describe as semen. And I wish I meant men at sea. <laughs> but sadly, I don't. Just bizarre. Um, visually, it was better than the first game. Not really my kind of shmup, if I'm being honest. Um, the bullet hell, that kind of like graphical style is not really my preferred um, style for shmups. I much preferred games like Pop and Twin B that I played earlier. But I do want to give a massive shout out to Strictly Limited, uh, who sent me this collector's edition of Death Smiles 1 and 2. Uh, it's definitely an interesting game, some fantastic artwork. Uh, and a nice uh, collector's piece, that one. But um, yeah, purists would probably say that completing a game like that, you probably have to complete it. On the hardest difficulty setting and don't take any damage and all that but i'm not that guy right i'm uh, happy to get it done um that is game number seven where are we now in terms of time okay so it's getting up to half past six in the evening um i'm one away from eclin last time right so we're in a good place however my list has been exhausted i'm gonna go and have something to eat maybe treat myself to a shower freshen up maybe a coffee right get in for the night shift now um, and I need to sort of like get my thinking cap on about what games we're going to play next because like I say my list has been played through 
Um, I've still got that one game that's calling me, but it's Gamble. I don't want to do that yet. That might be game number nine. So I need to think of a game that we can play through to equal last time. And then we'll discuss what potentially could be the ninth game. So, yeah, I'll check in with you in a bit. Okay, so coffee in hand. Dinner's been eaten. I've freshened up. I feel good, man. I'm ready now for the night shift. It's almost 7 p.m. And we're going to have a caffeine fueled completion. I am going to go for a Super Nintendo game. What game is the question? There's a lot to choose from on the wall. I did a bit of research and I was looking at games that aren't too difficult, aren't too long, but ones equally that I want to play. There's a lot of games here that I want to play, right? I think I'm going to go for. Silver box Konami set. I'd like to complete all of these games one day. Tiny Toons, Busters, Bust Loose. Good old platformer, right? Can't beat a 90s platformer on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, man. Let's get into this. Always a seal of quality. We're all a little loony. Oh, this takes me back. Yeah, let's do it. Touchdown. Yay. Okay, the credits have rolled on Tiny Toons. <sighs> Took a little bit longer than I thought, man. That last level had me. Um, yeah, it wasn't as easy as I expected what you'd imagine to be a children's game to be, right? But I think at this time, I mean, how long have I been gaming now? Like 13 hours straight? I'm not sure my mind is as sharp as it was, right? The sugar and the caffeine haven't really helped that much. But... It's a time for celebration, right? We've done what I started to do. I've equaled the total last time I did this, or so eight games completed. And I think now I can take that risk. Um, like I say, I'm probably not in the best mind frame for this, because I know it's quite a difficult game. Let's get the lighting on there. There we go, let there be light. So, it's a game I've always wanted to complete. I have completed. And of Shinobi. I have completed. Shadow Dancer. Neither of which I would describe as easy games, but the one that I've never completed, Shinobi 3. So this is a game I need to complete, to complete that trilogy. I've tried a couple of times and failed, and I really don't want to be failing and putting a couple of hours into a game at this point in the, uh, in the challenge, right? So, I've got a plan. My plan is, where are we? To play it via the Sega Mega Drive collection on the PlayStation 2. So this should not only make the game look a little bit better, because I can run the PS2 via SCART to the old TV. I don't have that set up on the Sega yet. Also, I can save it. I think you can save it any time. So what that means is, theoretically, if I'm having a good run, and I say if I do the first couple of levels without losing any lives, I can save it, and then should it all go down the pan, I can load it. 
looks, yeah, it's a little bit cheap, but listen, I want to play through the game. Um, and I think that right now, this is the best way to do it. So, I'm going to play Shinobi 3 by the Mega Drive Collection. And then what I'd like to do, maybe later in the year, is play the Mega Drive version. Um, and I think playing this by this version will help, because I'll sort of learn the levels um, and the sort of later bosses and that kind of thing a bit better. And then uh, hopefully, as I say, later in the year, finish the trilogy the old school way. But tonight, let's see if I can do it on my PS2. Man, I love this game. I almost forgot how good a game it is. It's, I think, probably the best of the three. And I grew up with um, Shadow Dancer. I played it as a kid, so I've got all that nostalgia attached to it. But Shinobi 3, even in just the first two levels, was a variation in gameplay, right? You've already seen the standard left to right um, ninja style. Then you've got like horse riding, and you'll see as the game progresses, there's more and more. And I've got to be honest, I'm really enjoying the PS2 version. It's, it seems to play a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. But it's another purist out there will say, nah, you've got to play the Mega Drive version. Listen, I own the Mega Drive version, right? So there's no um, impetus or benefit in me saying that the PS2 version is better. I'm not trying to convince myself. Um, but it does seem to play a bit smoother. It really does. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up needing the save states. Time will tell. But uh, there are sort of like different difficulty settings. And I started myself with a maximum amount of ninjutsu. So the sort of like the throwing daggers. I don't know if that's something that you can do on the Mega Drive. I can't remember. So I potentially made it slightly easier for myself. As I say, I can't remember. But yeah, I mean, it's all about enjoying the games, right? That's what I'm doing this for. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Um, so yeah, we've just gone past nine o'clock. I've been and made myself uh, a cup of tea. I've got a cookie covered in peanut butter because, I mean, why not, right? We're getting to that, that hour, isn't it? The witching hour. So, yeah, I'm going to drink this, eat this, play this, and, and keep smiling, man. As much as I'm enjoying this game, I'm making a lot of mistakes now. Fatigue is well and truly set in. It's not particularly late, it's quarter past ten, but I'm 15 hours in, right? My eyes are starting to sting, even with my glasses. <clears throat> my neck's aching a little bit, and I'm tired now. It's hit me. The last sort of like hour or so, it's hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, yeah, just fatigue. Just had enough at this point. Um, and obviously, I'm playing probably the hardest game that I've played all day so um, I don't regret doing it this way because I'm not stressing because I've already kind of got to the total I wanted to be at and um, I don't care if it takes me till one in the morning or I fall asleep and you see me at five in the morning <laughs> I am finishing this game tonight so less moaning more doing can't even put my glasses on Thought that was it. <laughs> I 
guys, I am flagging. I keep thinking it's over. I keep thinking I've completed it and then there's another level. I'm telling you now, I feel so justified that I did this um, on the PlayStation 2 with save states because I'm convinced this game's impossible. If anybody's watching that has finished this game legitimately on the Mega Drive, <laughs> kudos to you because that level with the um, like the falling rocks, impossible. I don't know how many times I saved and loaded that. It was a lot. I actually gave up on Ganryu 2 for a very similar level, which I'm guessing is an homage to this game. Yeah, never in my life could I complete this game legitimately. And being that I have finished the other two, I'm just glad to you know see this game in its entirety and hopefully see the credits roll, right? But it's half past 11 now. I want this to be how many games can I complete today? <laughs> I want to get this done. Oh, man. If I'm not making any sense of my sentences or I'm repeating myself, forgive me. My brain is fried. But I've got to get this done. Okay, so it's getting more and more absurd. As you can see, we're almost at midnight. And um, I've not been recording much because it's literally just me saving and loading. But let me just give you an idea of the sort of thing I have to do. You have to wall jump. Now, you have to like, not just... Right, see? <laughs> and this is just one tiny segment, right? So, the plan is to get from here to the next couple of walls but the top and the bottom of the walls has got spikes on it, okay? And wall jumps in Shinobi are notoriously difficult as it is, right? And I've got to navigate all three of those just to do this one tiny segment of the game. And I can't lose too much life because then I'll just die immediately on the next bit, right? So. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to have to take the life. I'm just going to have to take the hit, right? And hope for the best. Hope that next time I die, it'll start me in this area. But this level's a bit like the Mario Castle on, like, Mario Land, Mario World, sorry. In that if you don't do it how it wants you to do it, it takes you back to the start. There's almost like a trick to it, so I'm having to simultaneously watch YouTube. The point of enjoying it has gone, but I've come too far to turn back, right? Way too far. Ah, I can't do this anymore. Ah. Oh. Almost on the stroke of midnight. I'm not done. The final level. Which means it's only going to get harder. I, um, I ain't got any more words, guys. I'm just going to... Either see you in the morning looking dejected, or I'll let you know when I'm done, because I, I can't even talk anymore. Right, I'm shattered and gutted. Um, so as you can see, it's 20 past 12. Um, I'd like to accept defeat with Shinobi 3. That's got to be the hardest game. People talk about... Um, sorry, I'm that tired. I can't even think straight. Uh, people talk about Hagane. That's harder than Hagane. I couldn't get through that game and I could save it every 20 seconds, every time I got a little bit further. I'm gonna put a sequence on the screen now, which for me was the final straw. I just, it was one of them kind of sequences that even save states ain't gonna help. Um, it's a sort of sequence I'd struggle with in, you know, my best mind, <laughs> not physically and mentally drained. Um, after being, what, playing video games for, I don't know, 16 hours, I can barely talk. I was so determined to do it. I would have sat up till two in the morning, 
had I thought it was possible. But like I say, once I reach that point where even save states aren't helping and my sort of like cognitive skills and my reaction times are getting worse, I just have to call it for what it is, man. It's um, It's a shame. It feels like a negative way to end the day. I'm sure when I do like my outro, my final thoughts on today, there'll be a lot of positives to take from it because I have enjoyed it on the whole, but um, there are only like 15 hours or so of gaming. Right now I'm struggling to sort of articulate my thoughts. I think I need to wind down and get some sleep. Um, eight games, so yeah, equaled last time, right? Which was the minimum target, I guess. But all day I've been thinking in the back of my mind, Shinobi 3, Shinobi 3. Um, and I just thought that being able to do it on the PS2 with the save states and making the game easier, I didn't think it would be an issue. If anything, I was kind of like wrestling with my own consciousness as to how I felt about doing it in that way. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, like I say, let me know in the comments if you've ever finished Shinobi 3 because I don't see how it's possible. <laughs> like legitimate to do it legitimately on a Mega Drive with what like three continues or whatever you get. Ah, not having it. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting here thinking, nah, could I play a quick game just to beat it? I should really get to bed. Right, we're doing it. I don't care. And you know what? I'm going cheap. I'm going cheap and nasty, right? I've earned this. Eddie Gordo. I'm spamming them kicks. <laughs> I need this in my life right now. Have that. <laughs> Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Cheap spamming it with Eddie Gordo is just what I needed at this time of night. Morning, should I say. Second three done. And I am officially done. Shut down in here now. Good night, room. Good night, games. Not you, though. Not you. Right, okay, so it's been a few days uh, since my challenge and yeah, I've had some time to recover mentally and physically from what ended up being an 18 hour gaming session. By far my biggest gaming marathon of all time and a day filled with ups and downs, but the numbers are in. Uh, five cups of tea, one cup of coffee, but more importantly, we managed to finish nine games. I think I played a total of 11 and I thoroughly enjoy the day. I say at the end of every single video, right? Play your games, keep it retro, and I feel like I put my money where my mouth is, right? I certainly played some games and I, to some extent, kept it retro. And yeah, it's one of them where it's kind of like a childhood dream to sort of like play video games all day. And maybe as you get older, it gets a little bit more difficult in terms of the time that you can uh, dedicate to doing things like this. But also as you get older, you know, the aches, the pains, the eyesight, all that kind of thing, kind of makes you realize that can you have too much of a good thing maybe 18 hours is too much under normal circumstances but it's definitely a day that'll live long in the memory a day i'll never forget and i got to experience some fantastic video games and experiences that 
you know, ultimately are why I collect video games. I often say that collecting is a multifaceted hobby. It's not just about the playing, it's the collecting, the curating, um, you know, that goes involved with having a games room such as this one. And I think what uh, beating nine games this early in the year has done for me is it's almost took the pressure off a little bit. It's a pressure I put on myself to play video games, right? I feel like a lot of collectors have this backlog uh, and the backlog's ever growing and I feel like this pressure to play games and finish them and I think by giving myself this boost to start the year I can maybe go into 2024 now a little bit more relaxed uh, in terms of like when I play a game not just racing through it not just trying to finish it to say oh, I'll finish another one and then get to the next one that's in my backlog but maybe just you know chill out enjoy it for a bit more um, enjoy the experience for what it is and for all that it's worth rather than just sort of farming numbers to try and complete as many games as possible but I'd love to hear from you guys what's your longest ever gaming session have you finished any of the games that I beat today what your opinions of them are and have you ever managed to beat Shinobi 3 because I don't think it's possible <laughs> I'm telling you now that game is gonna haunt me probably for the rest of my days but yeah man, a massive shout out to everybody that's taken the time to watch thus far. It's been much appreciated. If you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I enjoyed this so much that I might do it again uh, later in the year. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But as always, play your games. Keep it retro. I'll see you real soon in a bit. Retro Ghetto. <laughs> Lock into the Retro Ghetto. Oh.